Hey, everybody. <laughs> What's up? Welcome to Table Talk, a show where we sit under lights in front of cameras around this circular table, and we talk like friendships. Mm -hmm. Everyone like friendship. introduce yourself. We're going to start over here with Whitney Moore. <laughs> Hi, I'm Whitney Moore. You did it already. <laughs> yeah, and uh, today we have a very special guest from the show Sexplanations, Dr. Lindsay. Hi, I'm Dr. Lindsay. Why don't yeah. you tell them all, all about yourself? It's normally my Once job. Once time. <laughs> what I like to tell you. <laughs> I was created with a sperm and an egg. Right, well, let's fast forward, oh, maybe. Wait. I have a channel called Sex Explanation. <laughs> I do YouTube edutainment. Nice. Sex edutainment, yeah. I got to be on your show yesterday. Yeah, And I was, awesome. I was very thankful for the experience. We, we talked about Bonniers. Bonniers? Also known as boners. Yeah. French boners. Oh, I thought you were talking about the, the Louisiana donut. <laughs> what is that? Beignets. 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 That's a no, good thing to call your wiener. You can <laughs> throw beignet. one onto the other one. What? Probably, right? Does yeah. it have a hole in the middle? Oh, no, no. It's like a little pillow. You could stack them. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to be thinking about that for an extended period of time. Uh, before we get too into it, I'd like to thank our sponsor for this particular episode. It's YouTube Red. If you want to watch all new series from your favorite creators, including, but not... It, I was trying to do one of those sayings that people say, and all of them just went out Say it? One of those sayings. One of those sayings. Just pick whichever <laughs> saying you're comfortable with and add it into here. I'm going to start over. If you want to watch all new series and movies from your favorite creators, I'm talking about PewDiePie, Lily Sai, and uh, Rooster Teeth, then sign up for a free trial over here at uh, YouTube Red, uh, backslash SourceFed Nerd. That's the one we're on right now, right? Yeah. Or just SourceFed. Mm -hmm. So which one is it? Or just cut out whichever one isn't right. Just bleep <laughs> out. Don't cut it out. Just bleep out whichever the not right one is. Uh, you can watch all your, all original shows uninterrupted while supporting the creators that you love. And I'm sure we'll have a link down in the description about it. That's what those sections are for. Yeah. For yeah. links. Do you guys like paper planes? Paper uh, no, planes? but I like links. This is your That's plane. a bad airplane, Pretty Mike. good, right? Okay, you can ask questions and I'll make it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So normally what off. we do is uh, we field questions from the audience via the internet in this bucket. This bucket this represents bucket. the internet. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, but I wanted to start off with a custom question, I if that's no okay. Idea. No, it's just like this. It's more in how you throw it than how you fold it, I think. <laughs> We're all <laughs> perfect. That stayed up for a while. Uh, speaking of staying up for a while, I would love for you to give our audience just a tiny synopsis on how your day was yesterday. My day yesterday? Yeah. Okay. You so, don't have to, but it's my favorite way to start conversation. It is now. We're <laughs> talking like a week from now. I'd like to hear about your week. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I went to a dungeon for mm. about three hours and went through a whole bunch of different experiences on yeah. my body, all consensual. Uh, like wax play and fire play and bondage and spanking and which and was then, your favorite uh or none of them which one oh, was all of them least no it was really, okay here's one that was really fun i was wrapped in in black saran wrap mm. what yeah. i've never seen black saran wrap. me neither that's already exotic yeah and then what was so great about it is I was coming down from subspace, which mm -hmm. is what it's called when you've been a submissive and you've been following orders and getting beaten up um, sure. in your living room. Yeah, mm. that's true. <laughs> yeah. I offered you water. You refused. <laughs> <laughs> I offered you a couch and water. And, and that I was, was about all I could do. Uh, <laughs> you I'm came, all better now. You came into my apartment and you sat on the couch and you were like, no one like to talk to me or look at me for a while. <laughs> so I can only imagine. And I was like, I'm sorry I can't offer you I don't know. You gave me exactly what I needed. Good a conversation. About <laughs> erections and we you know, we yeah. laughed. It was perfect. The thing that stuck in my mind throughout the hearing about it the first time was like three hours. That's seems a long like a long time. time. The production time. It w mm. I wasn't getting oh, came okay. that whole time. Sure. But well good. Unless that's that what you're into. That still seems like there's a, there's a lot of decompression that you need afterwards. It seems like, even if yeah. you're Is into it. Is this the first face you want to see? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Bridget <laughs> <laughs> just got spanked! Hey! I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, please. Just, uh, <laughs> I'm so excited to see this episode. Yeah. What is your YouTube channel for it, me to know? 
you guys already know. Yeah, Youtube.com slash sexplanations. Sexplanations. Spelled like it sounds. Spelled right off the tongue. Explanations yeah. with, with an S. Sex yeah. on it. Yeah. Um, our boy Ian Doki. Yeah. Who does everything in this place. He vacuums, he does the Twitter. I've heard. Everything <laughs> that there is to do. Uh, he asked our audience for questions specifically for you. Oh. So most of these are that. There's eight. Okay. And most of them are in here. And I would love, I would be honored if you were to pick the first question. Am I asking them you. of you? We're asking the yeah. table. Yeah, okay. Okay, here we go. It's a round table discussion. Uh, what are some kinks that exist but don't interest you personally? I'd say most of I'd them. I'd say a lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most of them. Probably. Well, uh, balloon animals is a thing. I feel like there's a, probably a kink if you can think about yeah, it. You Somebody's got it objects. as a kink. So just by sheer numbers, most of the kinks that are out there, yeah. I'm not interested in. I believe, though, that you're probably into kinks and you just don't realize it. You're probably I have right. my I have my stuff. Like, but Today, mm. I got my makeup done, and I realized that it was kind of like... Uh, facial masochism. Hmm. Whoa. You know, like they put because the eyeliner are, up in your eyes yeah, and then they I clamp your eyes. I feel so, so yeah. soothed by getting my makeup done. I f I've fallen How asleep. How do you feel about masochism? Oh, oh. Do you fall during masochism? <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I feel like I missed the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> I missed whatever made that make sense. <laughs> I, uh, definitely two that I know of, and one it was just uh, on an episode of My Strange Addiction, so I don't know how, <laughs> real, it, how, how real it is, but it's a guy that w likes to have sex with uh, uh, pool toys. Hmm. I'm not into like that. Noodles? Yeah, noodles, and mostly like the character ones, like a dolphin. Oh. Or a but that's seal. like having sex with a blow up doll. Yeah, I, I imagine that's the a same low logic, blow -up logic doll. jump. Yeah, uh, and there's more chlorine. Feed, feederism is something that I have no interest in taking mm. part in. What is like that? when uh, you're a feeder and you want to just like see your boo get real fat and you feed him over and over. It's like a it's like a sub dom thing. Where sure. Like you're gonna uh, you're gonna be too fat to move. I had a I had a friend tell yeah. me back in the day that she was like getting approached by dudes on Tumblr being like eat a eat a burger on camera or something mm. like that. Is that what that I is? I think so. I, I direct this yeah. to you. Oh yeah. Same everything yeah. is out there. Oh yeah. good. When I was Why don't you like name a couple? Okay. And, and we'll, we'll tell like, you if we're into it. Into it. <laughs> uh smoking. Smoking like Like just watching a sexy woman smoke. No, because then you gotta no. kiss her afterwards. She tastes mm -mm. like cigarettes. Oh, oh we're just talking time. about like porn where you don't you can't have contact. You just watch. Somebody. No, I'm gonna say no. Nah. Mm -mm. Okay. We should I feel like we should have hand symbols. Yeah, okay. This so is right. yes. Left is yes, okay. right is no. Okay. okay. There's a uh, crush fetish where you like have sex with people you have smashing things. Oh. Oh, um <laughs> yes, okay, okay, so <laughs> crush so so there's light crush, which mm -hmm. might be something like food, like cake or grapes. Mm -hmm. And then there's hard crush where you, like birds and mice. Mm -hmm. Whoa, this that's a no, hard right? no. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I would step on a cake if it made someone I love happy, though. I'm so happy you said cake and not mouse. <laughs> I would never step on a mouse. I would so step on a mouse not. if it made somebody happy. <laughs> Please tweet at us. Would you like me to step on a mouse? Please <laughs> don't actually. Don't step on mice for the first time. <laughs> okay, so that's one. That's you, a real can you, crush mice. Yeah. First sex. Yeah. Thing. Is that one that you're not into? That's one I'm not into. Okay, I'm good. I mean, I, good. I don't know if I could get off on like, I, I could get off definitely on squeezing a cake. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Sure. You, but I then mean, you, I don't want to eat the cake. Well, it's not for eating, it's for squishing. Well, get a get an eat cake and get a squish cake. Okay, guys, <laughs> this is my squish cake. Okay, but don't take any of the corner pieces off of my eat cake. Everybody knows the flowers Please are my favorite. Don't put your feet in my eat cake. <laughs> <laughs> that already sounds sexual. Yeah, it's the name of our next album. All right, so what's another one? Oh, goodness, there are so many. And uh... Just pick 20. <laughs> oh, no, uh, let's see. Shit. Like, oh, being no. Do one that we might be into. Yeah. <laughs> you might be into? What uh, if yeah, we what's were both one? unanimously like, oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit stuff. Awesome. What's one that you think that we're both into? Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like I like culture yeah. fetishizes breasts. One That's of the true. two things that Whitney knows about sex involves breasts. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you tell wanna... me. I know that, uh, you can touch a tit. 
mm -hmm. if you ask nicely, mm -hmm. and there, uh, there's a wiener. Wiener stuff. sometimes. Well, if you, no. if they sometimes. say yes. If they say yes. You can't just be like, I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great point. Thank That's God. Great. Great. I'm learning so much. I don't understand why I'm being arrested right now. <laughs> I asked nicely. Yeah. Yeah. So please, thank you. I touched your tip. Good, perfect. That's all of intercourse. You want to try one more? And wait, and then you said it involves a penis. And sometimes a wiener is present. It's there. With, with breasts. Yeah. No, yeah. Sometimes. Well, sometimes. Same, well, same room. There's a there's a whole world of sex that I don't know about. It could be uh, a wiener and one I tit. Yeah. Could be no wieners and two tits. That's all I can. Yeah. Think memory, memory just, sex. Yeah. Just look it up on uh, RedTube or whatever. One wiener, two tits. <laughs> <laughs> you should find something, right? All right. One more fetish that we mm. may or may not be into. No. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah, we should have switched I mean, it. Okay, can I explain, though, that there's a difference between fetishes and paraphilias? Yes, Yeah, because I don't Please. even okay, know so what the other one is. Fetishes either. is when it, it's uh, eroticizing an object or body part, mm. and paraphilias go way beyond that to things like um, urine and... Poop. Poop so and like the more like obscene phone stuff? calls and oh. children and animals. Mm. So... Uh, fetish is a type of paraphilia. Oh, okay, already cool. learned something. Yeah. I wish we had a buzzer that we could hit every time. We every time something. we actually learn also, something. I don't know why I'm trying to turn this into like a shitty variety show. <laughs> like, okay, this means yes and no. We hit the buzzer if we're turned on. And so we're adding new elements <laughs> to table talk. I love it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna shoot this question. Yeah, yeah do, do it. it. Let's crinkle it up. I recommend you crinkle. You're already doing that, but for the until like two weeks ago, I was folding them up into little squares, and that's not aerodynamic. Oh, that's bad for wind yeah. Also, if I can give you one other tip, uh -huh. I would put the platform lower down on the apparatus. Oh, <laughs> apparatus. Ooh. Yeah, this is actually my fetish right, right here. This <laughs> sliding the button apparatus. on an apparatus. Yeah, yeah slide it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put the paper on it. <laughs> Statism and masochism. Those are both paraphilias. Okay. okay. I feel like there are different degrees, though, right? And dominance and submission and discipline and yeah. bondage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's different degrees. Yeah. 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 Okay, what's the yes one? Yes. Here. Ah. Yes. So I. She so guessed I one, right? Back? Right? Yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah, you were close. Questions. It made it there. More options. More All right, Whitney, go ahead. Okay. This one's coming at you from what, son? At just the facts. Please talk about weird erogenous zones. Ooh. Is that the kind of thing you wanted? Is that what you fucking want? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the kind of question you fucking want? You like that question? Weird erogenous zones. Can you hit us with some with some <clears throat> tips? Can you hit us in our weird erogenous <laughs> zones? <laughs> 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 Is there, like, I feel like everybody thinks of, like, yeah, if you rub a wiener, the wiener will feel good. But they don't know, like... We're back to boners. If you, right? That's the only... That's B2B. The only there. B2B. Back to boners. So there's <laughs> genitals, feet, ear, face, neck, breasts. Mm -hmm. Is that Those all like of them? The Those ones. are the, the typical mm -hmm. erogenous zones. Do you know any, any weird ones? Shoulder people. I don't think, no, I don't think there's any weird ones. Hmm. Okay. Well, what about the bottom of your like, foot? That's a tick, you're thinking of tickle. But maybe <laughs> some people like that. Yeah. <laughs> that seems weird. Okay. You know what is one that I, I don't expect to always feel good, but always does is my ears. Ears. If it's somebody that, that is like, if it's a stranger touching my ears, no thank you. No, but if it's bad. someone I like, I'm like, that's, that feels great. Mm -hmm. Maybe Anything that's a. about ears? Anything about ears? You're just to like flesh out our nothing conversation. <laughs> so ears, hmm. that's interesting. I've heard something like the rubbing the lobes of the ears is like an erogenous type situation. I really feel like any part of the body can be. Mm -hmm. as, and okay. what I love is that if you have nerve damage, you can move your primary erogenous, like orgasmic zone to another part of the body. What? So if I couldn't have sensation in my vulva or my clitoris, I could move that to my neck and then <gasps> someone could touch my neck the way they would my vulva and I would get off. Would you, you have to that? deliberately work on that to be like, so. I, I want this to be the thing that gets me off? 
or is that what that just happened? Back, <laughs> I, I think you like deliberately need to work on all of it. Oh, I do, yeah. I, I don't know. So it's maybe just like you just thing? were like, or that's what I look like. It's very you unsettling. You should just like figure ah. out how the hell of it. You should change yours to your hand, and then you come <laughs> in and like, give everybody daps in the morning. Like, oh, God, Here's go home. <laughs> Focus for a solid three <laughs> years on making your right wrist your erogenism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> somebody grabs you to go to the mall or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, enough's uh, enough. Whitney's calling in sick constantly because <laughs> I walked her to the bathroom. Came too many time. times. Oh, no, oh, I... No, that's no. your shot. No! <laughs> nuh uh <laughs> nuh uh oh. Where are we okay. going next on this crazy adventure? Oh, wow! <laughs> that was fantastic! That was so far! How do you pronounce this name? Did you kill Gatos? Mm-hmm. You we hit somebody very have... far. No. No? Anomaly? Anamiel. Anamiel. Anomaly. Anomaly. I think it's an anomaly. I'm going to go with anomaly. SourceFed, what's the funniest and or saddest thing you've ever read in the comments section? Oh, man, this is kind of mm. us-specific, and I can't really think of anything good right now. But you've got a comment section. Yeah, yeah. what's the funniest or saddest thing you've ever... Oh, I don't know that I want to go there. You probably have a pretty intense comment section, I would imagine. Yeah. There are some people mm -hmm. who let me know that they want to eat my asshole. Sure, would that Maybe. be it, do you think? Because that was mine. I was going to say, <laughs> there were a lot of table videos. It's not funny, videos. and it's like... It's not sad. It, uh, what is the funniest? I don't know when people, oh, there's a really, really good one. Um, this week I was talking about my first day of sex school, mm -hmm. and I uh, went to a show where they did a live fisting with my classmate, Jack. <gasps> and I say sometime in the video that I ask my classmates who wants to go with me, and I then say, Jack offered. <laughs> yeah. All these people are writing the comments, Jack offered. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love things like that. Really fun. Um, I've got one that's like was just shocking to me recently. Um, this actually wasn't on SourceFed, but this was on the other channel that I do host it on. Metal sucks, and uh, metal heads are typically not the kindest to women. So I was reporting. Oh, oh you were so close. Not even. I was talking about this guy, Varg Virgnes, who uh, murdered a man 20 years ago and then uploaded a video recently talking shit about the guy he murdered and he's like a crazy racist dude. And a lot of the people in these comments like leapt to his defense and were like, he's one of the smartest, most influential metal guys. And one guy commented, this Was there a documentary about that guy? Mm -hmm. I think I saw that. Yeah, uh, one guy was like, uh, just fucking SJW cuck Muslim lovers. And I was like, what does that have to do with literally anything? First of all, a Muslim lover? Does you, okay. I mean, I don't like. If you really <laughs> want to insult somebody, and this is for everyone. It was everyone more confusing. Can you can't call people too many things at one time. That's true. That's very true. It's like at the end of a YouTube video. It you was say honestly like more subscribe or like. You can't say subscribe and like and follow me on MySpace and because they're not gonna do. You know, you're not gonna insult a bunch of people I mean, by doing some big long like uh, Breakfast Club insult. Yeah. That's well, too also many. like I don't I don't mean mind being called a Muslim lover because I don't know what that means. Yeah. I love everybody. But also, a cuck is a really interesting insult that's been used oh on the God. internet a lot. It's a cuck is a sexual thing. It's a fetish, yeah. and it's a weird cuckold. that it's yeah. no cuckold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when, it's so when if you don't know what a cuckold is, that's when you are not pleasing your partner well enough, and they go elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's and a, you're like yeah. hanging out there, right? Yeah, I've seen videos. I've looked them up. Oh. There's Keyword ones, yeah, you, you just watch, like, you watch your girlfriend fuck somebody else. Yeah, And yeah, then yeah. that's, it's like, you get off to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my knowledge of what cuckolding is, which is so funny that that's, like, ter been turned into an insult, because that's just a sex thing. Yeah. Like, no, but it was, it was an insult that got turned into a fetish. Oh! Yeah. Oh, like, so they took it back. Being a cuckold they is took it really back. not good. It means you cannot please your partner, so they go elsewhere. But that's then some people were like, I'm like, turned on by this. And they go oh! The same thing. What if you do please your partner, but you just want to see them F other people? F meaning sex, <laughs> in this case. Sex. Yeah. What is that called? Yeah, wouldn't that be, isn't that kind of like the... I mean, if there's no shame in it, then, you know, that's like... 
swinging or oh. sharing or so cuckolding. sharing. Open sharing. <laughs> Dude, this is when I start to feel like I don't know anything. But another human being is like, oh, do you mean sharing? I'm like, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> the shitty only child doesn't know what sharing is. <laughs> this is my word. I, I had no idea that it started out as an insult. That is, I would hit that we learned something buzzer to that. Yeah, that's mm. like medieval time insult. Oh, shit. Oh. And all the political people call each other cucks now. Oh. Do they yeah. really? Where's Lieberman? Lieberman knows all about that political shit. Why do all the political people call people they don't like cucks? Matt, get over here. <laughs> Explain. He's, he's so far away. <laughs> he's across he's the whole room. He's 50 yards away at least. <laughs> I'm taking over. Okay. He's not even trying to get up either. Wait, you didn't answer <laughs> your you didn't answer your your comment. What did What's I the say? worst comment? There were a bunch of funny ones that I was saving for a while. I can't remember off the top Aww. of my head, but when I first started here, like on a consistent basis, I would get a bunch of really good like Mike looks like this guy had sex with this guy or whatever. Like it Aww. was like uh, a homeless. Russell Brand had sex with like a Ben Stiller's cousin or something. And it was like the more specific they got, the funnier <laughs> they were. Great. I have a bunch on my phone. I'll get back to you. I promise. We don't have a lot of time. Can I have one more? <laughs> of mm -hmm. course. Okay. Here, hold on. Let me. Uh, that I don't want to ask you to do because I'm afraid of what might happen. Oh. But this, the bigger ones, I think are specifically for you. So oh, I just want to make sure that everyone who asked you a question. Uh, Where you, gotcha, you put yeah. the bigger ones in there, you're like, Lindsay's gonna pick the big one. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> she's she'll grab the largest queen. piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> she loves big pieces of paper. <laughs> <laughs> I know you. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. What's the weirdest thing you've ever done in a cinema restaurant? Cinema, cinema restaurant? restaurant? Cinema like, slash restaurant. Oh. <laughs> What the fuck is a cinema? Like it's, like Alamo, it's like Alamo Draft House is a cinema restaurant. Oh, I've never seen a movie there. Though. But they have a restaurant. What's the it? weirdest thing I've done in Alamo Draft House? In a cinema or a restaurant. Hmm. Oh my god. Are I mean, we supposed to stay kinky right now? You I, can't. I, I think it's, it's I up think to that's you. where it's to that was being led. Contest. Hmm. Not a contest. <laughs> <laughs> sexual contest. Oh, 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 okay. So I had a girlfriend. Back in the day, I don't even remember how old I was. I was like 17 and I was dating a 21 year old. Anyone? Okay. <laughs> so uh, that was for high fives, but none of them came. So uh, we were at a table once and she didn't have any underpants on, right? And uh, she, we were being same siders. Don't do that. I and, like uh, that. I like that. Okay, Why well, don't do I'll it. fucking do it if you want. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I will never do it again in my entire life. And she put my hand in between her <gasps> walking sticks, right? And she had me touch her, and I was like, oh, shit, this is really happening. What made it super weird was my best friend <laughs> was sitting across from me at the table. Oh, shit. And we weren't, like, sexually mature at that time. I was a little boy. You know? <laughs> so I was like, oh, this is only weird and not hot at all. <laughs> And uh, I remember trying to play it off. I'm like, oh, I can't, my keys aren't down there. Oh, <laughs> no! Because I was just like, there's no way he doesn't know what's happening right now. And she's just being like cool, ice, calm, collected. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm the least, I'm not the one in charge of playing this off. I'm going to look for my wallet. <laughs> it's like, oh, the chicken tenders are here. Thank <laughs> <laughs> and I remember being like real like I gotta say adding chicken tenders to the story yeah. like really sets the scene. <laughs> yeah, I think it was at a, a friendlies. Uh if we're you're eating totally with honest. your fingers. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> That's irresponsible on her part. Cause it's not like you they're gonna bring you your chicken tenders and then you're gonna be like, excuse me, I need to head to the bathroom to wash my hands. I, I don't, don't have any. She had an agenda. Yeah. She knew what you were ordering. Really <laughs> <chicken tenders. laughs> now they're right. fish sticks. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, a bunch of zingers. 26 oh, minutes in. This, this episode's chock full of zingers. I what don't do have got? any. You don't have any weird I don't, I don't have any weird cinema or restaurant or cinema restaurant ones, but I did get fingered at a corn concert once. A corn when concert? When I was 17. In seats? In seats. You were in seats at a corn concert? I was in seats at a corn concert. That's weirder than the fingering. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think. I agree. I agree. Wait, which yeah. album? Was this like Family Values this was, tour? I don't know. This was, was it Stein, I was. Stein? I think it was like 2006. Okay. And it, they were on tour with Lamb of God. So like Corn Reunion. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got one more for cinema. Okay. Is there anything else you want to No, that's to it. Song? Just that's boring old getting fingered at a corn was concert. It, was it Jonathan Davis or was it just whoever you were with oh. at the time? John, who's Jonathan Davis? The lead singer oh. Corn, dog. Oh, I think it was him, yeah. <laughs> I was like, did you get fingered by a man named John? Oh, do you know John Davis? <laughs> he walked around the, the concert fingered everybody. <laughs> you didn't hear about that? <laughs> um, I got one more about a movie theater. Okay. And then I'm sure, do you have a bunch? Is I wrong to assume that you have a bunch? This is wrong. I'm doing a bunch of wrong things. I don't mind. I'm fucking up. I'll take it. I'll I will come up with a bunch. Here's, uh, <laughs> don't feel pressure. Uh, my first time I ever touched a boob, uh, uh, I'm like a triple date. I was on, when all of the friends that you have go on a date to the movie and you just take up a whole row, mm -hmm. right? And I was like, oh, we're going to the movies with girls. I guess it's boob time, right? Boob so time. I remember I had my arm around her shoulder and then I put my hand like up her shirt and like into her bra, and then like, that's all, that's all <laughs> for the rest of the movie. I just was there. Aw, that's kind of sweet. And I settled in. Yeah. It's sweet, <laughs> unless you're her, and you have a sweaty, teenage, nervous hand on your boob for an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> that's not Just great. like, there, yeah. Yeah, not yeah. even doing hey, anything. Listen, uh, Rebecca, I don't know what to do next. <laughs> I have no idea what comes after this. <laughs> do you want to <laughs> so that's that's restaurant that's and good. cinema. Good. That's all I got. That's that is you good. got Do you both. Have any of those? I, yeah, I have a restaurant story about nice. having sex in public. I bet it's way fucking better. Than yeah. That. <laughs> no, I mean, I was sitting opposite of the person, and I we were like a really dark setting, and I just went under the table and blew him. Yeah. Whoa. And uh, was there a long <laughs> was there a long tablecloth or no tablecloth? No table <laughs> there was like half a tablecloth. <laughs> Enough, enough of a enough. table clock. Okay. Like, I wouldn't say it was my most responsible moment. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, whatever. Fun's not supposed to be responsible uh -uh. all the time. Oh. Unless you're young. In which case, always pick responsibly. <laughs> but it's important to right? be, I want to be respectful of the people in the restaurant, and I wasn't doing that. I was How old were you filling my mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they all had chicken. I, was I had some dick. I think he had the uh, sirloin steak. You were 23? <laughs> That's about the time we do yeah. that stuff. Okay. I would imagine. That's a good one. Okay. I, I think the most exciting one, though, is that I um, I ran a sushi social for a really long time where I would what have, do do there? The, have models come in and they would lie naked and we'd cover them in sushi. Oh, you know, can you them. explain that? Sure. I never, did, I never did. understood. <laughs> <laughs> I never understood any of the sushi thing. Like I saw it on mm. Sex in the City when I was a kid. Hundred percent. And I was like, why, why raw fish? Yeah. Pick any other food. Pick a spaghetti. Pick a really <laughs> ice cream. Raw I would, I would rather be covered in spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she's so beautiful. It okay. is like, really nicely. It looks it, nice. Explain, walk, walk me through it because I feel like I'll be on, by the time you're done explaining it, I'll be completely on board. Okay, so first the sushi. There's this idea called Doctrine of Similarities where one of the reasons why we think an aphrodisiac is an aphrodisiac is because it looks like a vulva. It's conic oh. or it looks like a penis. It's mm -hmm. phallic. So I think like with raw fish, they have a very labia look to them. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then <clears throat> Japanese tradition, which was not very, it objectified women definitely, was to put the sushi on them and then have businessmen eat off of them. Oh, I Can see. Can imagine like all these board meetings and there has to be at least like one Chinese businessman that's not that into it. But yeah. like is still really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, this one's on her shoulder. He's just repulsed by women. And he's just like, ah, fucking, ah, uh, want any, that. He she... grabs the waiters. Like, is there any that are not on her? <laughs> <laughs> we did that though. We would have people walking around serving. So it. it's a little bit of like a body. like a sub thing where it's like you're an object and kind of. and that's hot. Like okay. Art 
yeah. nicer model. A canvas. Yeah. I so like we, it. We would do really, really cool ones. Like we did a fifth element one. Where nice. Cool. Yeah. And then um, I did it one year. How was you it? You were the canvas? I was the model, yeah. Nice. Was it fun? It was so cold. <laughs> People like lay in ice? What do you have to do? You lay in a table, but you can't move. Uh-huh. And, and it's air just, conditioning, yeah, I bet. I mean, they don't want, want a hot sushi. Of, no, yeah. that's gross. No. I don't even do the Whole Foods one for that exact reason. Really? Or the gas station sushi. You want to stay You should never do gas station sushi. I mean, it's good advice. It's not bad advice Mm -hmm. at all. Um, How long are you staying there? I think I was supposed to stay there for a half hour. That's what the other models did. But they were like, this girl, she, she can't. Like, oh. get the food off Were you shivering? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> it, it was like a hypothermia situation. Yeah. Like, the, the last year of it. I mm-hmm. would eat the sushi nice. so fast. Out of, like, off feeling yourself? bad for the out person? Of- out <laughs> 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 of... <laughs> 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 when he's just supposed to be the model, he's like, can you, can you roll that up here <laughs> towards my mouth? Okay, now if all the businessmen could look over at this PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> 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 That's great. Uh, Do we have time for one more? Sure. I mean, the last one in there is one that we've done before. Oh. Uh, So I'm not going to participate. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Did you have one? Or were you just going to think of one? What's your, what's one of your favorite sex positions? (sighs) Me on top. (laughs) Are you talking personally or creatively? Uh, What's I I, want, like, yeah. What's a creative, what's creatively in this context? Like if you could just put bodies together. Oh. I like that you like to be on top. Yeah. I think, I I think same answer. I hope that means that you get to come. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Uh, Doggy style. Uh, Girl on her belly. Doggy style. (laughs) Whatever that's called. That's not doggy style. All favorites. That's something else. I don't know if that has a name. (laughs) (laughs) Grub style. Grub style. (laughs) That's the grossest. After Um, we talked to you, mm -hmm. after we came to your house, we went to a model house and met with, I think, 10 different adult performers. Mm -hmm. And one of them was talking about having all of these penises and like a crown around her. (gasps) And she's like doing all these things. And I was like, that's uh, a position. Would definitely sure. be interested in <laughs> seeing that a like, penis oh, crown. Seeing it, seeing it, I would have to see yeah, a penis crown ones. before I wear a penis crown, but definitely interested in, in at least. Is it like a like a um? No, was she's it like the Holy dudes, Mary, like, like a like a halo. <laughs> <laughs> Does it glow? Halo, Halo dicks. I'm more <laughs> concerned about like Virgin Mary. how everyone else has to how everyone else has to stand in order for the crown to be like perfect. <laughs> like I think they're like stacked lying. on top yeah. of each other. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's like this guy is not in a comfortable position <laughs> at all. You know, like if that's all the dicks. I'm interested this one in makes that sense. for the sake of art. Right? Yeah. Definitely. You ever take off your pants with all your friends <laughs> and see if you make a dick crown? Tell us in the comments below. Guys, this has been Sex Balloon Table Talk. <laughs> I tried. It wasn't great. <laughs> Thank you so much to our sponsor, YouTube Red. Thank you to Whitney Moore. Thank you to our guest, Dr. Lindsay. Thank you for the coloring book slash activity book that you gave me when you came to my house yesterday. I have some you masturbating well. monsters. Whoa, activity yeah. book. Do you want to pimp it out? It's a... It's called Monsturbating Masters. It's a coloring book of monsters masturbating, and it has a cookie recipe. It does. For like, first page. For monster cookies. Yeah. That's so cool. I'm so fucking excited. Yeah, and yeah. I have a video on my personal channel called Doe Eyes, where I make the cookies, and I talk about how baking is, like, prep for masturbation, because you, like, work your wrists and your oh. and stir You know what? You're right. Yeah. I never thought about that, but now I'm going to go you bake know, me a banana. I, <laughs> I bought a KitchenAid mixer this year, and I am so excited to watch this channel and really use it yeah. the way it's, yeah. it's intended to be used. Yeah, tell everybody where to find you. YouTube.com slash Sexplanations and at LTD on Twitter and Tumbling Dough on Tumblr. You want to give Matthew Gatos a shout out? And there's this really awesome guy, Matthew Gatos, who does all of the videography and editing and awesomeness of Sexplanations. He's why it looks superb. He does a great job. He also has a show called Matt and Maddie mm-hmm. on his channel. Matt and Maddie. What's your fucking, what's the channel? Matt and Maddie. YouTube.com slash Matt and Maddie. Is it a D-D-Y or a T-T-Y? T-T. 
entities. All right, that's <laughs> Thank you so much for circle. <laughs> <laughs> Solid episode. Thanks, guys. Thank you. See you later. Great job. That was my favorite episode I think we've ever done. That was Aww. so fun. That was awesome. Good. Great job. Thanks. You're the best. Uh, when you think exorcisms, chances are you're picturing heads cracking back violently, slurs and swears from innocent children, vomiting, and more. Prefer. Let me know in the comments. I'm not going to say it, but if you thought that was a term for a, a lady part. What? I'm sorry. I <laughs>